Hi and welcome to my channel, I'm Neil. Thought for my first video I would try and do a carving of a Viking Valkonut symbol. That's the first hand carving that I've done and hopefully it'll turn out okay. As you can see here I'm currently using a 6mm tool um, to start making the indent for the lines. I did read a couple of books by Chris Pye to get the techniques um, and I'm trying those out. A symbol where there's a lot of straight lines should be a good way to start the practice. As you can see in this clip, I've got a 9 sweep, 25mm uh, gouge chisel. I know it's a bit overkill for what I'm trying to do, but I just bought it recently. And when you buy something new, you've just got to use it. And so I thought, well, might as well use it on this. A lot of the video clips are speeded up. Um, this is because overall I had four hours worth of footage, which I then got down to an hour and a half. And then further, with the speeding up, managed to get it down to about 20 odd minutes, I think it was. Um, so yeah, there's quite a lot of speed up, but there are some parts I have slowed down again. Um, and it is, as it's my first video, obviously I've got to make a learn from it all. <laughs> surfaces to carve on to basically hold the work down this one I think this project I've used three different uh, versions um, I have got a fourth final one which I'll be using for future carbon projects but I made that after I'd finished this whole project but it was just trying to find a way to hold the wood down so that it wouldn't move um, and I could also easily turn it around as I needed to to flatten some of the edges uh, just to make it a little bit easier for the final clean up. Here I'm using a flat gouge uh, to clean the edges. I've also used my normal bevel edge chisels as well in some parts of this as I found them sometimes to be a little bit easier and I knew that they were also very sharp. Mm -hmm. 
marks around the edges as you might be able to see there as to how far down I was wanting to go um, I don't think I actually got that far down in the end but the result I am happy with and you'll also notice that I've got an MFT style uh, MDF top there that I'm using now which is the third surface and I did find this a bit better to use than the previous ones but I've, I've yet again improved on this and no doubt I'll change it again in the future away from these little say wedge areas I found really difficult um, I have got a different style chisel there and I have used some miniature chisels as well and in the end I 
did resort to a um, Dremel type um, rotary tool just to try clean up a little bit more um, which it did do and again I was happy with the result but I know that whatever I've done here I can only just improve on for a future project final part applying the boiled linseed oil uh, which I gave two coats of and if you have managed to last this far thank you very much for watching my first video please don't forget to like this video leave a comment with any advice or anything you'd like to see in the future subscribe to the channel because I will be trying to do a lot more content in the future and also remember to ring that bell so you'll be notified of upcoming uh, future videos. Cheers.